And when I went back in 2023, I started to notice that dentists were opening up to more possibilities as well, which really surprised me. Because by the time I went back, I'd been on my journey. And I think I wrote it down here. For the people that are skeptical and with science, just think about there was a time when this country wouldn't accept yoga and now it's accepted, wouldn't accept meditation. And I actually met a student who was in his third year working in a coffee shop and he's in Bristol at uni uh, studying quantum and quantum entanglement. Yeah, and a lot of this, a lot of this is starting to come through in quantum science. So I think it's encouraging people to be open minded and allow yourself to experience it because it's in the experience it. I mean, for example, I've done quantum jumping and all these things that you've talked about, but until you've experimented with it and experienced it, it's just a concept in the head and that you can poo poo. You, you need to, you need to, if you want to, if you're curious, try it. And that can be scary at first, I think, because yeah. it was certainly scary for me because my mum was diagnosed with schizophrenia. And so it was really scary to look at doing things different to the five senses but I've never regretted it. And if that, that job was a great job, and if I could have gone further and incorporated this stuff, like I said, I'd still be there. And I think moving forward as people progress and younger people come through, corporate companies will keep more staff if they allow them to be more curious and investigate these kind of things. Mm, absolutely. I mean, open-mindedness is absolutely essential, really.